That's an early morning video. Birds are just waking up and it was this lunar eclipse last night and I watched that from work riding a bike around. That was pretty cool. The clouds weren't out then, but the weather knows that I'm not able to fly today, so I'm gonna be sleeping. But I wanted to show you this. This is my new uh, satchel long range ground station. It took a bit of thought. But I use that American Tourister bag that I got really cheap. And this is the scale of it. You can see my hand on the bag and the GoPro or the Fat Shark <coughs> goggles case on the side. So don't push the red button. Don't push the red button because it's actually an antenna mount. So we can put this quad quad antenna on that I built. Works pretty good for local. So we put the quad quad on. You know, I think, well, he's only got one antenna. That means he only got one station. We're out with Bearcat this morning. <clears throat> hey, Bearcat, don't mess me up here. Eat some grass. On the front here, though, which is actually the back, but I have to wear it like it's the front. In here, we have the uh, 18 dB super patch and all my wiring, which is solid now, is in the back of this pouch. Now, if you remember, this was the uh, American Tourister bag, so it's like an expandable duffel bag that was taking up most of the space on it, and that was accessed from the bottom. So we turn it on its side here, turn it on its side that way, open this up here. Now notice I can leave this open here, that's key so I can carry it this way. Ala, I'd be crazy, Alex Greaves, who has his satchel ground station. Not sure if it's long range, but then I can open it up here. Hey, Bearcat, psst, psst. you keep an eye out. You're on duty now. Okay, so. What do you see, Bearcat? What do you see? Huh? Psst, psst. Lots of birds. Anyways, inside, we've got access now. I cut out the bag, the waterproof duffel bag, which is a hideaway. Now we have access to our receiver here. Plug in the power here. We've got our fat shark cable here. So that can come out the bottom as so. We can zip it up this way again. Then all this is covered from the rain. It's a waterproof bag, so that's all covered. And the side here, I improv the uh, SD card access and the DVR recorder, so I can reset it and start it there. And then all the mess is gone when we fold the bag up again with our cable out, ready for fat shark use. And the fat shark goggles are on the outside, so I put that back in there. Close it up. Come here, bear cat. It's okay. Birds won't gang up on you. Come here. One-handed, of course. Now I can't fit any antennas in here, which is a drag. But if you can do it up with one hand, you know you've got a pretty good case. <clears throat> so there we go, we would have it set up now and we can lean it against a rock or a tree or hang it even better from a tree higher up and put it on an angle. We can bend our RG cable here any way we want. This is the metal cased, but you don't want to bend it too many times because it will fatigue it. But there we go. So our ground station's all set up. And as an extra bonus, I have a computer monitor to uh, video converter, which takes the uh, computer monitor output, which is my seven inch computer here, and outputs it to a switcher that hooks up to my fat shark goggles. So I can switch to the computer and stay completely under the hood and adjust my NAS or check the SD card and see if the footage is clean and uh, delete footage 
all from this bag. But I have to carry my transmitter and I have to carry the quad and batteries so and antennas. So I am going to have a small backpack probably as well that this could go in at the same time. Okay, I guess I gotta go because the cat's on a leash and he's going up the tree.